Hi, and welcome to the Commissioner's Report. I'm your host, Jeff Foley, and I'm joined by District 1 Commissioner George Lindsay, who's also Chairman of the Board of County Commissioners, and Rebecca Klein, Executive Director of a Woman's Choice Pregnancy Care Center. Thank you for joining me today. Good morning. I appreciate you being here. Good morning, thank you. So we're gonna talk a little bit about safe haven for newborns. Yes. Um, Commissioner, can we start with you? Can you tell me a little bit about why this is important? When I first came on the board uh, now over 11 years ago, there was a, an incident where a young lady um, had the child and, and chose not to, to turn it over. I learned more about uh, Safe Haven as the opportunity, unquestionable opportunity, to drop a newborn off at, the, at a fire station, uh, emergency, uh, emergency room facility, other medical facilities, with no repercussions to the, to the birth mother. Uh, do what's right for the baby. And then that, that was uh, an eye-opening experience for me to, to learn that I, I did not know that that any fire station is a safe haven by statute that uh, the birth mother can drop off with, without question, without prosecution, uh, and understand that her child will be taken care of. Uh, then the paramedics uh, and the, at those stations, they will deliver the child, make sure to the local hospital and they checked over and whatnot. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a great program that we need to get the word out that don't do something you regret later, something that's going to be harmful to the child or, or neglectful, and take advantage of this opportunity to turn the child over to a healthy environment. And what is Florida's safe baby law? Well, in the chapter 383, it establishes by statute that uh, you can drop the child off at uh, these facilities that I mentioned, the fire station predominantly, uh, and there will be no prosecution against the, the mother for, quote, abandoning the child. That's protection that she has in this process. Uh, it also gives implied consent to the medical providers, the doctors and the nurses and the hospitals that, that accept that child, rather than, uh, you know, waiting on some authorization. Uh, it is implied consent as part of the statute. Okay, and Rebecca, you're here obviously from A Woman's Choice. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the organization? Yes, um, A Woman's Choice is a pregnancy help clinic here in Lakeland. We've been here 35 years. We help women when they're first finding out that they're pregnant. Um, I, I, they still are facing those unwanted pregnancies, unplanned pregnancies, and not knowing what to do. So we're a place that they can come where they can receive medical services, education, and support in making that decision. So we uh, equip them by providing pregnancy testing, ultrasound, ST testing, all factors that weigh into making a pregnancy decision, and then we provide information about every option that she has. She knows, So she would know she's not limited to just one decision, but to know here are the three different options you have when you're not when you're pregnant and you don't want to be. You can either choose to parent, you can adopt, place for adoption, or you can have an abortion. We educate her about the process involved in each of those, the consequences that come, the challenges and the rewards, so she can make an informed decision. And then we also provide support for her in the decisions that she makes. So it sounds to some degree like you're helping moms to be not have their backs against the wall and to not feel alone. That's well said, yes. And we also help the dads in that as well. I just want to make sure I communicate that because he's an equal part to those decisions. So, and I'm sure in your role, you are very, you're keeping an eye on the safe haven for babies. Yes, yes. Um, it, would you say that it's been a successful program? We don't always know. What, when we keep an eye on it, we make sure the information is available. So when we're seeing a woman, we already know she doesn't want to have this pregnancy, so we know there's a risk on the other end. And so we make sure she's educated about Safe Haven so that if she ends up um, carrying the pregnancy but still coming to that same place of, I, I can't do this, um, she knows there's a safe way to um, take care of that situation as well. So, Commissioner, it sounds like a woman's choice and safe haven for newborns definitely line up a little bit. Can you talk a little bit about what what else safe haven for newborns does beside giving moms a place to safely drop a baby and have it be taken care of? Well, again, it's an educational process. And as I mentioned, when I first came on the board, I, I made an effort to create the Safe Haven Coalition with Rebecca's team and, and other uh, providers of similar services as well as social services in the, in the government sector to bring them together 
to have that unified message. It, it did not uh, coalesce as I had, had hoped it would uh, as, a, as a single entity, but, but the fact that there are multiple agencies providing the same awareness uh, served the same purpose. When this new legislation was passed, kind of upgrading and updating the, the statute, it, it brought it to my attention to say, okay, yes, this is a, something we need to, to be more cognizant of and also uh, broadcast more to make uh, re-educate the next wave of, of young moms that are coming through this process. Uh, Safe Haven has saved, I think, uh, 360 plus babies uh, across the state of Florida, probably half a dozen here in, in uh, Polk County. And it, it's tragic when we learn uh, that young infants have been left in uh, harmful conditions, uh, abandoned. Uh, and it's, you, you can only imagine the, the trauma that that mother went through to make those decisions. But uh, the whole idea is to let the community know that there is help uh, there are folks like Rebecca's team and, and others that are here not to steer you in one direction or another, but to give you the tools to make an informed decision. And as you get to the end of that, that term and uh, uh, now you've made the decision positively to have the child, now the next step, if it is so overwhelming that you can't handle it, there, there are fail-safe opportunities for you to protect that child and still have the peace of mind that you've done the right thing. So it's such an interesting thing that you never know what that baby is going to grow up to do in their lives, how they mm -hmm. might turn out, how they might change the world. Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. it's, it's a beautiful program. Um, Rebecca, how can people get more information on A Woman's Choice? Um, they can go to our website, uh, which is yourchoicelakeland.com, uh, because it's about it being their choice. And so if somebody wants to learn more about the services we provide and how we provide them, that would be a great way to do it. And Commissioner, one last question for you. How, how is the board involved with Safe Haven? Um, wh what do you do to support it? How does that work? Well, this program is, is certainly one of them. Our communications department has routinely refresh the message that we are partners in Safe Haven. Uh, certainly all of our care providers in all of our fire stations are very aware of the program and are, and are uh, eagerly accepting this opportunity to serve uh, one more level in, in our community. We've got a great team and the great folks across the county that uh, uh, have bought into the program and, and uh, recognize its, its value. So is there anything else that you guys would like to talk about, anything that we're missing or that the residents of Polk need to know about? Just just know that there are agencies that are, that are available and willing to, to take the young lady through this whole process. Again, as Rebecca said, it's your choice, but make an informed choice. Yes. And the resources are there to do that. Yeah. And that would be the same message I would echo, that there's help no matter what's part of the spectrum of pregnancy, just finding out, having the child, when you feel like you can't do it and you don't know what to do, there's help there. And then the other message for the community is education about these resources. Too many people don't know Safe Haven exists. Too many people don't know places like A Woman's Choice exists, but we're there. Well, thank you for helping to get the message out about a, a wonderful, powerful program, and I hope that more people will utilize it and uh, give kids a chance. Thank you. Good morning, thank you. Commissioner, thank you, Rebecca, for spending some time with us today. That's it for this episode of the Commissioner's Report. On the screen, you'll see links for A Woman's Choice and Safe Haven for Newborns. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like our social media.